All right, so let's break that solo down a little bit. I'm using the C major scale. When I get to A7, I chose to use the mixolydian scale, the A mixolydian scale over the A7 chord. So I start off on beat number four, playing a G note, 12th fret of G string. So the first phrase sounds like this. Okay, so after that first note, 12th fret of the G string, I play 13B, 12G three times, one more time 12G, then I'm just gonna pivot off of that 12th fret, 15B, 12G, 13B, 12G three times, one more time 12G, 15B, 12G, and now I hit a note that sounds great over the A7, the C sharp, and I bend up a half step. And then 12, 14 on the B. And then 12, 14, 12 on the G. 14 B, 12 G, 14 B. So let me play that one more time. Now the song moves to D minor, and the next phrase sounds like this. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm bending E up to F. It sounds great over the D minor chord, because there's an F in the D minor. So the E is found on the 17th fret of the B, so I'm bending 17B up a half step. Then playing 15, 17, 18 on the B up to 20 on the B, but I'm gonna bend up a full step now. Back down, play on the, let's see, it's gonna be on the 18 of the B, back up to 20, and bend up a full step and back down. All right, so here's the whole first half of the solo. Now we're into the second half. Starts off like this. All right, so what's happening here, I'm doing a lot of pedaling off of the 12th fret of the G string. So I'm starting off 12G, 13B, then 12G, 15B, 12G, 15E, 12G, 13E, 12G, 12E, 12G, 15B, 12G, 13B, 12G, 15B, and then 14 on the B because that sounds great over the A chord because I've reached the A chord now in the song. So put that together, sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, next phrase. I'm gonna come down to fifth position. I'm gonna bend up a half step on the seventh fret of the B. Down to the fifth fret of the B. Seven G. Five to six, little bluesy riff around the A chord. Five to six, I'm gonna slide on the G string. And then seven on the D string. And the final phrase of the solo, I'm gonna use some octaves. Sounds like this. Okay, so I'm playing on the fifth fret of the A string. That's the note D. And then I'm also playing the note D on the seventh fret of the G string. So I'm gonna play this octave D two times. 
And then E, so that's gonna start on the seventh fret on the A and the ninth fret on the G. Moving up to F, back down to E, and then D, E, F. Now I'm gonna come up to the 12th fret on the A string, 14th fret on the G string, and that will be an octave of the note A. And then I'm gonna come back down to G, back up to A, up to B, and then B, C, D, finally landing on the root note C. Okay, so that whole octave section sounds like this one more time. And that's our first solo using a secondary dominant.